Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Grim Fandango. In the last episode, well, we had a lot happen, guys. We went and visited the Blue Casket and was able to get some documentation to hand to the worker bees to unionize, and their leader got arrested. So we're going to have to deal with that, and we accidentally became enablers, giving Glottis access to the VIP room here at the Cat Race Track, where we found out he is actually a compulsive gambler. So we have a lot of other stuff that we have to deal with today, so let's go ahead and get to it. I guess we could go up there and talk to Glottis. I don't remember where everything is here, but... I think this might... Here we go. Uh, Monsieur Little Wine up here, please. Hey, boss. Oh, if I had only known. Indeed. I had no idea you liked gambling so much, Glottis. Well, the doctors made me promise I wouldn't do it anymore. But they can't get in the high rollers loud, Doc, can they? <laughs> baby. Oh, you don't even have any dialogue options baby. with him. So that's pretty much all that's going on over here. Yep. And Oh, there's Nick. There's the lawyer who was with the owner of the blue casket, who also happens to be Maximino's girlfriend. Let's wait and talk to him, because I know we're going to have some interesting conversations. Whoa. That was interesting. I don't remember that guy. Now, Chowchilla Charlie. Oh, there's the turkey baster. Looks like a turkey baster. We're going to need that. Keep that for safekeeping. Now, Chowchilla's, uh, Chowchilla Charlie's briefcase should be in here. So, That's we have that for future guy. reference. Let's head over here. Oh, so we already have been. Uh oh. This must be Maximino. You know, I'm getting the feeling Max ain't much of a dog guy. You know me better than I thought. Hello, Maximino. Why, if it ain't Manny Calavera, come to see how the big boys play, eh, Manny? From what I can tell, they play with kitties. Kitties, roulette tables, what's the difference? They go round and round all day, and they're both more reliable when they're fixed. Am I right? That's very true. Now, the interesting thing about this, guys, I never went in here and talked to Max when I first played the game, so this is brand new to me. Look, you gotta cut Glottis off. He has a problem. As long as he's got credit, then he's got no problem. Credit? How did Glottis get credit? He's part owner of your club, ain't he? Half owner, actually. Well, he put the joint up as collateral. So as long as you're in business, he's in business. Oh, crap. That's not good. How's the old cat race, Max? Well, volume's pretty low. Most everybody's out of town. Tell me about it. But I've got some side businesses that help smooth over the rough spots. What kind of side businesses? <laughs> Many. Let's just say our El Mato associates appreciate our out-of-town perspective. So he's probably involved in this uh, thing that is going on in El Mato with, uh, what was his name? With Hector. You know, you got a pretty nice setup here. You got a good little club yourself, Manny. Not as nice as my girlfriend's, of course. Did you say your girlfriend? Hey, Manny, don't pretend you don't hear the gossip. It's not a secret anymore. Olivia and I are officially an item. Ooh. Should we go ahead and tell Max about this? Well, I just saw Olivia and Nick kissing. Manny, we all kiss here. We're all one big family, you know? No, I mean kissing, Max. Manny, Olivia and I are in love. Nick Virago's been my trusted counsel for years. You shouldn't even joke around about their character like that. It could make me very angry. Well, I don't want to make him angry, but I'm not joking. I'm not joking. That's enough, Calavera. I mean it. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about something we can agree about. No, poor deluded fool doesn't want to face the truth. 
I'm here for Charlie's money. <laughs> no, seriously. He says you have a lot of it. Oh, I got a lot of it, but none of it's his. <laughs> Ooh. I'm leaving town tonight. That's great, Manuel. No one needs a vacation more than you. Get out of town. Forget about that Meche woman. Oh, everyone knows about Meche. I like the new blimp. Yeah, I decided not to let what happened to the Olivia One get me down. Imagine, you try to impress your girlfriend by building her a beautiful airship, and what happens? It goes and crashes, explodes and burns on your own track. It kills her favorite cat, too. Not the kind of thing that makes the young girl's heart go a flutter. I'll tell you that, Toys. Ouch, I didn't know about that. So, that blimp must be the Olivia Two. Your new waiter's got quite an attitude, even for a snooty waiter type. Hey, Manny, when you put labels like that on people, it's like you stick people in these little boxes and never let them out. We're all in little boxes back home, Max. Six feet under. Now you're talking like the town corner, Manny. Cut it out. Well, I'll let you get back to staring out the window. Just can't get enough of my cats. Oh, he's got a view of the races. That's cool. Maximino, king of kittens. Well, that was interesting. I was always one. I always wondered who, what Max actually looked like, and now I know. So I guess we can go head over here and talk to Nick. Boy, that Nick sure gets around. And how? Nick Virago, what are you doing working in the High Roller Lounge? I would think Maximino's private lawyer would have his own office. I do. But they don't serve drinks there. Got a little lipstick on you, lover boy. Uh oh. I already got rid of that. Well, I can do the same to you, Calavera. So there was a key in there. So if I were you, I'd keep my jaw shut. And he just exudes snootiness, even for a skeleton. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. Friend of mine's in the slammer. So will you be needing a regular lawyer, or an excellent lawyer? Let's go ahead and play up to Nick's ego here. An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer? are the best excellent lawyer. Oh, hell's bells. The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? Hmm. Well, the best lawyer would have to be a dead lawyer. Well, that narrows it down to just about everybody here in the land of the dead. Come back when you know more about what you want. And by the way, Manny, lawyer jokes, not funny. Oh, come on, they're kind of funny. So I've got a... I gotta okay, stroke so his ego. Lawyer, his mother and a chicken are all in this lifeboat sea. They're getting hungry and the chicken says, I have a gun, Manuel. <laughs> Virago, I really need a lawyer. What is it this time, Calavera? Friend of mine's in the slammer. I'll so. ask you again. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? Oh, we're going to have to go ahead and go through this song and dance. An excellent lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer. Boy. The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? We just have to remember this is to get our uh, bee friend out of the slammer. You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. Hmm. It's Virago's cigarette case. Now I wonder. Nah, he'd see me do it. So we can't do anything. Well, I wish we could use the scythe on him, but that's just not going to work. 
turkey baster would be interesting. But nothing actually of use. So let's head back here. Actually, let's finish talking to Nick. I think he had some other options, too. How's tricks, Nick? Go, go, go. Everything all legal with the kitties? Yes. They keep themselves pretty clean. Who do you like in the fourth race? Well, there's a white-footed tabby in gate two that's looking strong, but has a slight eye infection. But you think he's gonna pull out of it and win anyway, right? No, that puss-eyed puss is going to lose. But nobody knows, and I am going to make him mint. I have to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too, but they keep the lights on around here. I have to say, this is where me and Manny part ways. I love cats. Nice talking with you, Nick. Been a slice. So we need to find a way to get that cigarette case. And let's go ahead and check out if we can get... There went that waiter. Can we... Okay, he's a teleporting waiter. Looks like the pantry. So, let's head up this ladder. It said it was in a wine cask, if I recall correctly. There's no opening up here. It's alright. We can go ahead and make one. I'd better not open it when it's full. That monster upstairs Ooh. is running me ragged. Oh, but monsieur, je suis très désolé. There are no guests allowed in the kitchen. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Leroy. Raoul. Now... You're going in there. Oh, I remember what we have to do with him. Gotta get down here quickly, quickly, quickly. Yeah, we gotta the close the door. Wouldn't work there. Regret. We need the scythe. Now check this out. You gonna close the door there? There we go. Hello? Hello out there? Could somebody please open the door? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. I am actually very close to a phobic, so if somebody, uh, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, oh, let me out of here! Immediately more! Oh, oh, oh. Get up, you stupid cat! Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? That does it. Hey there, Gladys. That looks to be made for your appetite. Chug, 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 chug. but voluminous there you go boss now then that's closed and I will need my scythe back now let's use this fancy can opener and find this alleged briefcase On the job. Uh oh. My mind's flashing to Porky for all the wrong reasons. Okay, it's empty. Well, 
Le keg is le empty, so too sweet, Buster. Yes, monsieur. Merci anything you say. Hey, Joe, more wine. Oh, I'm going to fire him for ignoring my pleas, and then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place. I want to know more about this guy. So is that... Interesting. So we've got... We're here in the elevator room. And... Hmm. I know we have to use the forklift for something, but I can't remember what. Is there anything in here we should be aware of? I bet that thing's really easy to control if you're a big demon. I bet so. Wonder what Gladys would do with it. Can we go? And go ahead and control it, like so. We are down deep, aren't we? I remember what we have to do here. Did you see that door that we passed by on the way up? That we need to bring the forklift in here and actually use the forklift tongs. Yeah, so we're back here. Let's go ahead and summon the elevator again. And apparently it's like a secret floor or some such, if I remember correctly. So... Elevator go down... Now my question is... How... I mean, do we... Brace it going up or do we brace it going down? I would assume... We would brace it going down. I guess we'll find out here. We'll go either way, whatever is needed. Manny is a man of many talents. Let's just head in here. Turn this all the way around. Alright. We should be good now. We'll try heading up and we'll try heading down. So we gotta hurry. Maybe. Nope. Hmm. Is there any other way to mess around with this? It's the blade control lever. Oh. Okay, we actually have to. Oh, neat. So let's get back in here. exactly sure what we have to do. If the blade release is up... Let's see if we can actually have this thing... Hmm. Alright, so that didn't work. The only thing I can think of is having it right here in the crevice. Yeah, like so. That's the only way I can imagine it working. So, let's try that again. And I apologize for the delay, guys. It's something 
Like I said, it's been a long time since I played these, and some of these puzzles take you a little bit to remember how they work. So let's fire it up. Ah. But if it's... Hmm. Unfortunately, it's going to be a pain in the butt, isn't it? And the only other thing I can think about is getting it in the crevice and then activating... Come on. Come on. There we go. Move forward. Aha! That's the ticket. Now we go ahead and use the forklift and the blades, and here we go. And this looks kind of spooky. Looks like we're in a temple. And this must be the briefcase that Chowchilla Charlie needed from us. I wonder what Charlie's got in here. Dios mío, it's full of double-end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chowchilla Charlie. So chances are good Charlie is a mil middleman. Alright, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along just in case. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it. You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the Union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and, uh, don't forget to pay your dues. Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, so, we did find the briefcase, and basically found another piece to the puzzle as to who's been car carrying these number nine tickets for Hector. But I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked the video, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.